Madam Temi Tope Eluemi Balogun. Madam Temi Tope Eluemi Balogun. Madam Temi Tope Eluemi Balogun. How many times have I called you? You talk too much. You talk too much. The Bible says, in the multitude of ways, there wanted not sin. Which, in common English, can be interpreted when you talk too much you will easily commit sin through your talking you will easily commit sin you will easily miss the road you will easily meet your miss your target madam you are missing your target remember a complainant can become an accused person. You may take somebody to the police station and the case may turn against you. The same thing you are complaining, the same thing you went to see uh, uh, CDHR to complain about is the thing you have jumped into doing at this particular hour and uh, remember the government did not appoint you to investigate anybody this investigation you are doing is a voluntary service you sat down you made up your mind and you say you are going to find out mind you another person can stand up and take you to to cdhr or even take you to EFCC because of what you are doing. Promoting something that you are not sure of. Coming to the public space to begin to talk of something you are not sure of. Something that you cannot authenticate. Is that ignorance or illiteracy? Is that ignorance or illiteracy? Anybody who is on investigative mission, his ways should be few. Your own ways are not few. You talk like a parrot. It is not supposed to be so. You may become an accused person. You, that you are the complainant now. If you don't watch out the way you talk, you may become an accused person if you take someone else to see the hr another person can equally take you to see the hr it is not when you tell somebody that you have a grant that you may be culpable but if you play a role in advertising in promoting a grant you can become an accomplice Maybe you don't know that. You can become an accomplice. Madam Temitope Eliemi Balogu. From this advertisement about Epic that you have made, I have concluded something about you that you are not even well informed. You are not a social media person and you don't have access to information dissemination. If you had access to information dissemination, you won't come out to dispense this folly. I call it folly. Oh, who is in this Nigeria that is new to Epic? Who is in this Nigeria that is new to Epic Charity Foundation? To the fraud of Epic Charity Foundation. Who is in this Nigeria that is new to it? 
you came up and you started saying your reason for coming to talk for them and as you were talking you were saying that you are not advertising them if you are not advertising them what are you doing you think you are talking to kids when you are pleading that people should come and join and that you too are you are coming to join and you are telling us that you are not advertising it the for the law enforcement agents they are taking note of what you have said just now that i've listened to they are taking note of it if it is ignorance that is causing you you better go and bury your head in shame you don't ask questions because uh, this issue of verification has brought you up to the open to the public space you want to harness the opportunity to cash out on it that is just the thing because people have known you and because people have known you you want to use that also to cash out if not who is in this nigeria that does not know epic charity foundation as a fraud you are even saying that you don't know the name of the professor i know his name his name is barambo the professor that he put i don't know whether he's a true professor because so many people they pick professor from the stream they pick professor from the river they pick professor from the dustbin and when you look at their activities there is no sign of somebody becoming a professor in their lives professors they don't carry the professorship in their brain alone they carry it the way they behave they are so chaste and they are so cautious of whatever they do what has turned you to be a mad woman now about epic is that they showed you pepper let me tell you that pepper they showed you they showed me in october last year and i told the whole world but since you were in a village that you didn't have access to data to visit the social media space it appears as if epic charity foundation is a new thing to you do you know that so many people are laughing at you for coming up to talk the way you have talked because they are aware of epic charity foundation epic charity foundation what is always doing barango what is always doing is is looking for somebody who is popular to sell him to the people and that was why he located me in october the people that came and begged me to speak for epic i'll mention their names Number one, Jehoshaphat. Number two, engineer Moses Ibrahim Igoche. Number three, Professor Ichado. He went and saw them that they should persuade me to advertise him. And uh, I told them, I will not advertise him until I see some pepper. The mistake I did in Tio, in Tio Bad. I will not repeat that mistake. And the peppers that they showed you, that you feel you are on top of the world, they came and showed it to me. And me too. Because I had never seen papers like that, I began to jubilate. And that was why I, I hit the airspace. Madam Temi Tokwe, Eliemi, Palogo, you don't have experience. And you don't have access to information. And because people know you now, you want to cash out on it. Try to be asking questions. Let people be directing you. They came and showed me the paper. And I said, okay, since I have been into this grant venture, I have never seen any paper of this kind. And that was why I came up to the airspace 
and me. Anytime people hear of my voice, they move. They move. Can you compare your voice to my voice? No. You cannot compare your voice to my voice. So they started registering like water. And within two weeks, when Barango saw that billions had started hitting his account, either millions or billions, I don't know, in his telling bank account that he made me show the people when he felt that he had gotten enough money, he came up and said that he doesn't need me again. He said he came and said he doesn't need me again. And that was how he disowned me. And I said, if he doesn't need me again, my prayer is that the people that came into this, his organization, let him pay them. They are my people. They are my people. Let him pay them. He even owes engineer Ibrahim Moses Igoche for using his channel. As I speak to you, Barango is owing engineer Ibrahim Moses Igoche. Engineer Ibrahim Moses Igoche has so many things on his table for now. That is why he does not have time for Barango for now. At the perfection of time, Barango will pay for his action. That was how it was. So <laughs> now, the papers he showed you, how do you know that those papers are authentic? How do you know? If those papers can confuse me, it can confuse you all the more. Because I know you are not as educated as myself. If upon my education, I could not detect the uh the, the uh, i could not detect the untrue nature of that paper i could not detect that those papers were fake how will you be able to detect this are you in the financial sector are you an accountant and even if you are an accountant are you in budget and planning are you in nfiu are you in the EFCC that will be able to detect whether those papers are true or fake? I stand here and now to tell you that those papers that you saw, they are fake. And Barango is a number one criminal. Is a number one criminal to be able to falsify those kind of records. The EFCC are dangling upon him. The EFCC are dangling upon him at the maturity of time. He will get into your hands. Those papers you saw, they are not real. They are fake. They are fake. All the things you are telling me, that they told you, they also told me. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs that you said you went, I also went there. That woman you are talking about is tall and is black. And not only the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, we, I am Baron, we also went to AIT. What have you known? Madam. Tell me, Tokwe, earlier me by Roku, that uh, you had a focus and you dropped it and you jumped into another one and you started doing it. What do you know? And for your information, the approval letter that they say they are looking for, do you know the time they were looking for that approval, approval letter? In November, when I was working with them, 
when I was working with them in November, I was very excited and I thought he was telling the truth. And this money you are talking about, we were expecting it to come before the close of 2023. Because when I had contact with Barango, he told me that everything will be finished in three weeks. Three weeks from middle of October. Three weeks from middle of October. Now we are in July 2024. July, nine months, barely nine months have gone. And Barango is still at the point of waiting for approval. He is still at the point of waiting for approval. If you are pregnant of a baby, to give birth to the, to the baby, and the baby takes 30 years, in your womb to be born then how many years will the baby come and spend on earth here if the baby spends 30 years in the bo in the womb to be born and uh, another 50 years for his childhood then another 70 years for his teenage. Then another 100 years for his youth. When will he get to adults? This dispensation, do we have the time for all those years? Do we have the time for all those years? All these people, like last year, when uh, you was talking on the around the 29th of uh, September last year. They were jubilating, jubilating that an approval letter has been given to them to disburse. Yeah, authorization letter has been given to them to disburse. From September, we are still on up to now. And uh, in Tiobat, people are still advertising Tiobat that Tiobat will disperse. And people are still believing in them. Like about uh, two days back, somebody like uh, 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 Master White, he came out and was talking about Tiobat. Do you know what he was saying? He said that uh, his ways have never fallen to the ground. He has never said anything and turned back up. And uh, it is still the same. Master White that I quarreled with badly the time I was with Tioba. He stood against Tioba seriously and I raised him down. Now he's coming to say that he has never stood against Tioba. My prayer is let people be delivered from talisman. Let people be delivered from the witches and wizards that are operating in the grand community. People are too gullible. Madam, tell me to call you, Elio Nebayogo, be very careful. Be very careful because the journey you are making, you may not come back. Because the same arrow you are putting in your quiver against people, the same arrows may haunt you. The same arrows may haunt you because you claim to have known everything. You claim to have known everything. You took the determination to come up, to investigate. Why not face that investigation? And you are coming to advertise a fake grant. A fake grant that people know that it is fake. I am surprised when you came up and say that you have never heard of epic. That shows your level in the grand ecosystem, that you are not a popular person. What just gave you this advantage and you want to rubbish it? You want to, you want to rubbish it? Do you see how you have brought yourself into the rubbish bin? This thing you are doing and people are queuing behind you. You have changed your direction. 
from grand investigator to grand promoter, you have useless to yourself. You have made a mess of yourself. Because tomorrow, this thing that you have said, somebody can call, go and report you to CDHR. That those paper that we are talking about, that they want you to bring it out. Let them investigate it themselves. Yes, the professionals on those paper. Let them investigate it themselves. You saw paper. You are not a professional in that field. Because you just saw it, you came up to begin to talk to deceive people because of the pro of, uh, because of the privilege of the public that you have. You don't know what you are doing. You are shooting yourself on the foot. You talk too much. Madame Eliane, Temitako Balogo, allow the grand ecosystem to rest. They have moved through a lot of stress. And moreover, the paper you are talking about, where we are now, is not the era of paper. It's not the era of paper. No matter how correct your papers are, where we are now is delivery. Is delivery. Even if you don't have paper and you can come and deliver, you have taken the day. Why are you coming to advertise paper to people? Who tells you that he does not have paper? This was the mistake all Grand Treasure Group made a while ago. And they have apologized to the whole Nigerian. When they saw when they say that they saw Ken's name in a grand paper. And they were doing that in error. They have apologized anyway. Are you you are coming to do your own again? You want to rubbish yourself. You want to rubbish yourself. Instead of you to face what you are doing, you are always talking pa, 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 like parrot. When you come out to talk, you talk for one hour, you talk for 30 minutes, and there are no senses in whatever you are saying. You take small steps, you come out to the airspace, you begin to vaboose. You take one step, you come up to the airspace, you begin to vaboose. Anybody on investigative mission does not talk like that. Go and ask people and go and learn. You want to rubbish what you are doing. And for your information, the government does did not appoint you that you should be a regulator of people. You rose yourself. The way you rose on you on your on your own accord. Somebody else can rise on his own accord and bring you to book. And bring you to book. The way you are promoting this epic. If it is found out that the epic is fake, do you think that you will go for Scott Free? Madam Temi Topes, Eliemi Balogu. If you are on an investigation, uh, investigative mission, face that investigation and stop disturbing the populace. The populace have had enough. It is no promotion of ground that we need now. It is actualization. It is actualization. Where there is no actualization, let them keep quiet. For your information, Barango Opukuma Opukuma Barango, that is the name. And the name of the sportsman is Benga. You, you don't even know them. And they and they and they and they, and the masses they know them. Who? You you don't know them. You who is illiterate. You are coming to teach a teacher mathematics. The masses that you are to, you are talking to, they already know this, you know. And for your information, when I came up, because I was deceived by that paper, <laughs> immediately I discovered that Epic was fake. I told people, don't subscribe to this project anymore. It is fake. But then, if you are not satisfied, if at all you want to subscribe, subscribe to 
trust come. Let your money be there. And let us watch what Opukumo Barango is doing. If we find out that it's genuine, then you will be part of the project. But if we find out that it is not genuine, your monies will be returned back to you. And as I speak to you, those who paid the trust to come, their monies have been returned to them. Eliemi, Temi Takwa are you not in Nigeria? Are you not in the world? Are you not in the Nigerian ecosystem? The grand ecosystem in Nigeria. And you are coming to confuse. You say you want clarity. And you are bringing more confusion. It's not clarity, you. You are bringing more confusion. Instead of you to heal a wound, you are adding salt to injury. Their monies have been given to them. And uh, several people that paid to Barango, they have been phoning me. Where is the money? I said, I told you, pay to trust to come. But as you have paid to Barango, go to Barango. Let Barango refund your money to you. And those people, they are on the mission on how to collect their monies from Barango because of his failed project. And you are coming to persuade people to still go and register. Be careful, Temitakwe, Eliyame, Balogu, so that in the bid to save people, you yourself, you don't get lost. You yourself, you don't get lost. You can't claim to be a deliverer and you are sinking people into the abyss. You talk too much. Anybody on an investigative mission does not talk the way you are talking. And moreover, you are a woman. I think you have a husband and you have children. Pity your husband and your children. Because where you are going now, you are trying to touch the tiger's tail. The government is for everybody. It's not for you alone. As you have access to the government, every other person has access too to the government. If somebody commits blunder and you are bringing the person before the government, mind you, if you too commit a blunder, you can equally be brought before the government. We are waiting for the government. We are waiting for approval from the government. Temi Tope, Eliemi, Balogun. That has been on since October last year. That has been on since October last year. Or did Opukuma Barango tell you the date that the approval will come from the government? Did he tell you? He didn't tell you now. You know, these people that are front stars, they know how to move and you are going into an agreement with him you are going into an agreement with him what do you know what do you know about the papers that he gave you i stand here and now to tell you that those pe papers are fake they are fake i want you to hit the airspace without wasting time and retract back what you have said Retract back what you have said. Tell the masses, because I believe some people might not yet have registered as a result of your voice. No. Although even if people will come, they will not come. Because they know that that project is already a failed project. But for you to clean yourself, hit the airspace, and withdraw back your call. Withdraw back your promotion of that fake grant. But if you don't, no problem. We are in Nigeria. The government is not only for you. It's for every other person. If you can take people to the government, other people can equally take you to the government. Good evening.